Over the years, Autodesk has added some great features to the world of 3D, but the process of taking that 3D model and creating the 2D drawing views from that model, you know, the top view, the side view, the isometric views, well, that was a little bit tricky up until now. Inside of AutoCAD 2013, there are some great model documentation tools that are going to make you think twice about designing in 3D. Let me show you what I mean. Now in front of me, I have a model. Pretty simple, straightforward model. It's a model of a dental chair, and uh, I like to think we can all relate to a dental chair. That's why I picked it. And I need to create the 2D drawing views from this chair. So I'm going to go over to a layout, go to paper space, right? I'm going to go to this layout. And it's empty, <laughs> nothing up my sleeve. And now I'm ready to create the 2D drawing views from that model of the dental chair. So I'm going to go up to Layout. That's where you're going to find these great tools. You'll see there's an option for Base. I'm going to go ahead and select Base from Model Space. And you'll see there is my chair. So I actually think that the scale factor could use a little bit of work. Let's change the scale. Let's make that maybe 1 to 20. I love being able to pick from the command line. That looks pretty good. I'm going to drop that into place. When I'm happy with it, I'm happy where it is, the scale and everything, I can hit an enter and now check this out. Look how easy it is to add the projected views from there. I mean, I could keep adding them if I wanted to. Simply by moving the mouse in a specific direction will control the view that you get. When you're finished, hit an enter, and AutoCAD will take all of those views and convert them to wireframe. This is all customizable by you. You'll notice as I was bringing the views in, they were shaded, and when I finished it off, they changed to a wireframe with hidden lines. So these views are smart. Look how smart they are. You'll see that they know that they need to stay lined up. So no matter where I move them, they're always going to be perfectly aligned. You can break that alignment if you want to. I don't know why you would, but just so you know, it's a possibility. It's easy, easy to change the scale factor after the fact. Simply by clicking on that down arrow, maybe I wish that the scale factor was 1 to 30. Now let me warn you that this is the parent view and these are the children views. So whatever you do to the parent, it's going to modify the children as well. So that doesn't mean that I can't modify the children views independently. Maybe I've decided that I want this isometric in the upper right hand corner to be a little bit different. Let's do an edit view. And instead of hidden lines, let's have this one shaded with visible and hidden lines. And you'll notice that the scale factor up there says from the parent. No problem. Let's make this one a little bit bigger. We'll put him back to 1 to 20. Just so you can see that you can make modifications to the individual children. All right, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to do just some basic dimensioning. Let's put a few dimensions on here. I'm going to go to annotate, right? And I'm going to do some linear dimensions. I'm going to go ahead and dimension this line right here. I apologize for the imperial units. <laughs> Crazy Americans. I'm going to go ahead and dimension this one here. I love just to hit that extra enter so I can just select the line. Now let's do one more. Come over here and I'll select this line right here. So there we have three different views dimensioned. You know, not completely, but there's a few dimensions on there. So what happens if our model changes? Well, let's go back to the model and make some changes. Even though I know your designs never change, maybe we need to check this out. I'm going to make some really obvious changes. All right, I'm going to come in here, zoom in here. I'm going to grab this back. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to pull it out. Definitely. It is longer than it used to be, right? That dental chair is not going to fall over. <laughs> so that's one change. And then for the other change, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete a section of the chair. I'm going to say erase, right? And I'm going to select the main part of the chair. Easy enough. Okay, clearly a big change. Now we have arms floating in the air. <laughs> clearly a big change to the model. All right, let's go back to our layout and see what happened. Oh, look at that. So I have some dimensions that don't even need to exist anymore. And if you take a look down here at the annotation monitor, it tells you that one of the annotations has become disassociated and asked me if I want to delete it. Absolutely, I definitely want to delete it. In addition to that, if I zoom in, you're going to see that this dimension automatically updated. I love that. So the dimensions are linked to the model. So they're going to automatically update. Huge change inside of AutoCAD 2013. 
Really fabulous feature. So those are the main features in model documentation. There's a few more I didn't get a chance to show you, but look how easy that is. This is going to really encourage you to try out the 3D features inside of AutoCAD 2013. After all, we do live in a 3D world. Then go ahead and see how easy it is to document those 2D drawing views. Give it a try.